Hello everybody, Dr. Carlo Oger with CarloOger.com and this is another video on our series on how to master RVU for the emergency medicine healthcare provider, whether it be physician, resident, or advanced practice professional. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, an easy way to increase your RVUs generated per shift, spending just a few more minutes counseling the patient about smoking cessation something really easy to do it only takes a few minutes and as long as you use the right documentation you can get uh, some rvus but how does smoking cessation counsel increase your rvu generated per patient well a well-written note document your face-to-face -face counseling with a patient about smoking and the options to help quit can generate as much as 0.35 rvus per patient to properly code and bill this 0.35 RVUs, you must use certain words and phrases in order to be able to capture and bill properly. The minimum amount of time that needs to be spent during this face-to-face -face counseling session needs to be documented in order to bill for that. And if you want to learn exactly what the phrase is that you need to copy and paste, that's all discussed in my web course, which you can find at carloojero.com. Let's take, for example, this is not a little thing. If you do 0.35 RBUs per counseling and you do about three patients a shift, that's one RBU total per shift. You work 15 shifts a month. Um, the average RBU, let's assume, is $25 an hour or so. It could be more. It could be a little less in your shop. But that's somewhere around $393 per month, which can become a grand total of almost five thousand dollars a year for just um, three easily done counseling sessions on something that's a high value to a patient that presents especially if they present with a respiratory complaint now I don't do uh, smoking cessation every patient who smokes I don't even do it more than three or four times during a shift I usually do this counseling on patients who come in for respiratory complaints and a history of smoking or vaping. That way I feel that the counseling is warranted under circumstances and that the patient will be receptive to the counseling or intervention. Usually um, I go into the past family social history, part of the medical record, and if they answer affirmatively to whether they smoke or vape, then I ask them if they would be willing to consider discussing medical aids to help smoke quit smoking during the visit. I remind them that since they are in the emergency department for a pulmonary or respiratory type complaint, this would be a good time to pause and consider the options to help quit smoking. So I kind of introduce it uh, that way by bringing up the fact that they're here for respiratory problems, they smoke, hey, this is a good time to consider quitting, would you be willing to discuss that with me today? And that's my open door to try to bring this up. I try not to be preachy about it. I, I don't really, uh, and I start saying the patient something uh, along these lines. I say, I don't really want to tell you things that you already know. Smoking is bad for your health. I just want to take this opportunity to help you quit smoking since you are here for a respiratory condition. So starting now will result in an immediate healing effects to your health if you quit smoking. I tell them there's various options to help quit smoking and I feel comfortable starting you today on some of these. I discuss the nicotine gum and its advantages, lozenges or patches, and that's basically all I try to get them into that I'm willing to prescribe is that there are other prescription options and aids available, but these are better handled by someone who can monitor the patient for side effects and who can prescribe refills and monitor the patient over the long term. But the ones that I'm willing to discuss and potentially prescribe today are these right here. And usually that's enough time and discussion of what to give and writing the prescription to justify the counseling. Then I tell them one last thing, to go ahead and use their phone and text the word CDC to the number 47848, which essentially starts sending text um, tips and, 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 and encouragement to a patient who wants to try to quit. So um, it's called the smoke-free text. 
and uh, so th so this is it that's it all you have to do is write uh, a specific phrase with the time you spend doing the smoke cessation counseling and what kind of options did you provide what you uh, ultimately did so when I introduce this to the patient I bring it up as a respiratory problem it's a good time to try to quit these are the prescriptions I'm willing to write for you today uh, and then I say something like I, I recommend you join this uh, free texting app where it'll send you messages encouragement and tips and tricks on how to um, quit smoking now this is not little thing if you do it over time three times a shift was one whole RVU you'll produce per shift that's 15 shifts a month that's almost four hundred dollars or five thousand dollars in a year so that's a significant amount of money to not be billing for to not be documented and it's easily done and if you go to my uh, website Carlo Oget dot com and you um, enroll in the course there's a whole bunch of other tips which can also improve your RVU coding and billing and you'll become an RVU master so check it out bye bye